Well, it's a game that originated more than 1,500 years ago, most likely in either India or China, before quickly spreading across the rest of the world. Today, the game of chess is seeing a resurgence in the D.C. area, where clubs are forming across generations. A, I don't want to call it a distraction, away from the other distraction, the much worse distractions. But. Daniel Folks has been playing the ancient game of chess since he was a child. He says not only did it keep him out of trouble, but it's given him some valuable life skills as well. Folks prefers to play speed chess because he says it teaches you to think on your feet, but he acknowledges the value of the traditional game. The slow games definitely help you out in terms of now your opponent gets a chance to think. You got to think that much harder that much uh, more problem solving and that much more decision making um, teaches you responsibility and accountability for what you did previously. Of course, he's in the danger zone. This young chess fan is getting some strategic input on how to play the game, a lesson that could be used in other life situations. It's very fun to play because I think you can battle your opponents in a way that is tricky, but it also can win the whole game for you. And chess clubs are sprouting up across the region where kids can play millennials or retirees. We have a relationship with uh, the, uh, uh, the players in Prince George's County. Most of the players that you did meet uh, that, that actually play at Wedmans, they have a team also that actually play it as their home base here um, as far as the D.C. Chess League. But um, uh, we have developed a relationship with them and it, uh, the players that play at the Starbucks in Forestville. And uh, so we have a, good, a great network. And if you'd like more information about chess clubs in the region, you can log on to BigChairChessClub.org.